I don't want to be rude, but I think it's good. Uh, whoa! Yeah, I burped, okay? So I'm drinking seltzer. Nice. Nice. Michael, can you move your camera down? No, I can't. <laughs> can you can you sit up or something? <laughs> He's, <only alive. laughs> He's so scared. He hates to be He's on the TV. He's Mr. Wilson. <laughs> no, he's rising. Stop! You're Mr. Wilson. No, he's scared. What is it? Saturn eating his. Mr. Wilson yes. is Dennis the Menace. <laughs> Wait, what's his name? He's he's Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> you don't call him Mr. Wilson. Call him Mr. That's, Wilson? A yeah, that's a different character. He is Mr. Wilson. I guess he used to call Wilson, though, isn't he? But he yeah. Is Mr. He sent him a letter. Tim never when comes out and says, hey, Mr. Him. Wilson. When they call him, doing that? Mr. Wilson, I regret to inform you your that dead. <laughs> there's a sinkhole underneath your fence. <laughs> no! He's just going to be like this. <laughs> and all of a sudden his face like it, it reveals his face because the fence sinks I've seen his face he has ant mouth <laughs> what does that mean he has, he man has fucking mandibles oh my god he has mandibles Pinsers? yeah he does look it up Pinsers? now I know all of you are really young but um yeah, fixed it happy ah! <laughs> <laughs> Michael you troll Michael! I'm falling. I'm throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> is this real? Did your house really um, fall? Your acceleration oh, due to gravity is very unrealistic. Uh, so I'm falling. Your glasses <laughs> would be falling off of your ears. Michael, Why did you did really you fall? Oh. <laughs> so fucking mad. Yes. I just don't know what he's doing. He keeps doing that. How's he do it? How's he falling? My monitors are really high up. <laughs> but you're tall. But they're like a foot and a half above my head. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna fight you. I'm so. about to buy some fucking pool slides from Old Navy so I can look like I'm from the 90s. Hello Twitch, it's so good to see you. I think you look great today. We're going to do some community cool shit. Um, yeah. Apologies okay. if we've missed yours in the past two months. But that's okay, you know what I'm saying? Um, to shout out anything at all is a... Uh, a joy is what the way I, I see it. Um, imagine us talking about your art it is as if we, all of us, are a, a butterfly flying. And then we are licking... One, one butterfly? Several butterflies. Okay. Uh, and we're licking your face. With wow, the, the weird the weird long Proboscis, are, yes. yes. It doesn't have to be weird. It's just a normal proboscis. Menard, mm -hmm. it's no longer technically my birthday <laughs> but it is still june so it is my birthday um the things i like to do on my birthday month is to buy me things what is the first one yeah let's go <laughs> freaking do it i do love hearing tim just drone on, and on. greetings yeah. adventurers <laughs> are you ready yeah Hoffman, are you yes, i can i can in? I can get this fucking ripple effect going whenever you want, boy. All right, go. All right, well, let's start with the first one, a classic from your friend and mine, Hugo. Uh, it looks to be wow. Toby and Toby 2 just holding each other. They're having clone times. They're having clone times. You ever just clone yourself and then give yourself a hug, a warmth embrace on a cold night? I wish that I could clone myself and make my clone just rub my back all the time. What would you do with your clone if you had a clone, everyone? I just told you. <laughs> Would you fuck your clone? Yeah. Yeah. Michael, would you, would you suck your clone? <laughs> would you suck the, your clone's hog? Um, since we're catching up, we're going to go through several Tobys. Woo! Here's another two of them. And it's, uh, uh, Toby Prime is very fatherly in this one. There's a sepia tone there. And, and you know, it must be confusing for Toby to, to be out there unsure of the world. Like, where am I and what am I? Yes. Uh, another one of them too. Just really, just, just really getting in there. Just two buds, <laughs> two buds, <laughs> kissing each other's faces. Uh, I love the. Is that a pencil work? Looks like it. Uh, let's quickly go to the, the. Oh, now this one is the one I've been wanting to talk about. Hugo did this one today, and this is uh, a Toby with big ass. Come here, come hither, eyes. Um, done with, with the hair is chalks. so good yes 
I'm. I should get this to tattooed me, on my person. Put on your. I'm surprised you don't have a Toby tattoo yet. I am also surprised about that. Guys, I'm gonna get a Venusaur in August. Yes. Are you really? The, yeah, I'm gonna get the Ooh. Trunks and Dragons. Um. This logo, somewhere on my person. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't think you yeah. get a real give a shit. Hugo, learn how to tattoo. I see a lot of artists learn how to tattoo. I'm sure it's easy. <laughs> Thank you so much for those arts. Uh, there's a Harper and a Deera. Uh, Jennifer, you uh, named a Deera kind of, if you think about it. Do you I want to did. click that one? Yeah, sure. Click on it. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love it! Look how sleepy oh, Harper is. Oh, my God. It's so, I this love is by Galen. At Doodle KM. Their sleepy eyes. I love the like. I want to copy that eye makeup look that Adira's got mm -hmm. going on. A little purple under eyeshadow. Hopefully, people at the GeeklyCon cosplay contest mm -hmm. uh, will dress up like um, Adira's and Harper's and Toby's. And all sorts. Like mm -hmm. um, uh, Michael, do you want to take the next Toby by Coleman Jonas? I would love to. Um... Uh, Jonas Coleman, all the way from Germany. Germany. Uh, uh, two adorable little Tobies. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that Toby. Oh, <laughs> 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 wants to do murder. Yeah. Isn't that, thank you. I just have a knife. Yeah. <laughs> Early Toby, too, was a little, little something different. He, he evolves. Yeah. Toby's home alone yeah. So true. Yes. Bachman, there's, um... One of the weirder uh, plot choices Michael has made, and I'm still not quite over it. Do you want to take the next one? Oh shit! Uh, this is a, that was a long time ago. When was episode fifty three? Uh, Who's to say? Probably uh, a, a little about a little over a year after we started. So November of twenty thirteen. Damn. Yeah, artsy oh twenty two yeah. HAL did uh did some uh, some hobgoblins seeking revenge. After after what was clearly a misunderstanding. <laughs> who's, to, who's to say whose side they're on? Um, Jennifer, do you want to do the next one by yes, Arcee? Because it's do. with Eludra and her. <gasps> oh, the iconic apple scene. I'm Moment in... before tragedy strikes. I think in context, this is different. <laughs> by rc 22 ajl again. Again, thank you so much for doing every single episode. Don't yes, feel like you have to. I love it so much. Uh, there's a Lonnie up next. Uh, Hell yeah. Uh, would you like to get in there? <gasps> oh my gosh. Uh, this Ronnie. Or this Ronnie. <laughs> this Lonnie. I was looking at. Um, it is from at Ratten Kfig. I think, I think our friend Gregor is also German. Yes. Yes. We got, we got that a big right. German contingent. This We're evening. huge we in do. Germany. Huge in Germany. Huge in Germany. <laughs> Well, this might be fun then. Um, uh, I'm, I might go to Germany this winter. If I you do, should. let's hang out. It's awesome. I like Germany. Um, this is Lonnie running as um, they escape from the city, and it's like it reminds me of a '90s Nickelodeon show. Yeah, and it yeah. Reminds me so yeah. much. Yeah. Uh, do you want to do the the next Rat and K Fig with the Oh and shit! Dilo? It's the Sonic Trees. Sure. <laughs> sure. This one is. It, this seems like in a different style to me. Um, it is yeah. Ola and Aludra, and like, I love it because there's like so much detail with little detail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Like the shading is a lot of detail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the, um, the way the shading is like super contrasty. Yeah, and it kind of looks like Aludra's wearing like a strawberry like cool <gasps> armor, and I want to yeah. eat it off her. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, do you want to do the gang? I want. Nothing more in this world than to do the gang. Yeah, this one is so good. The bank sona. Oh boy. I don't think that one's like ever look hotter than that look for Rowan. Wait, did I skip one? Huh. The and... top is so good. Oh yeah, I must have missed I mean, one. It's got it it's good, sweet blouse. I mean everything is, is perfect in this. It's perfect. I wish that we could buy that blouse for you, Bachman, and that dress barn didn't go out of it. Yeah, that would have been great. <laughs> but it, it was, the next week, part. I was like, fuck, probably should order one of those. And they were sold out even before the uh, dress barn fuck. announcement. I'm so glad that guys... Toby is dead and so that I can wear whatever I want so that I don't have to try to find Paisley or whatever. I mean, but do you see uh, Toby's um, bolero 
Yeah. This, it's very it's good. so cool. Yeah, I mean, that's how I described it. And, and, it's, and that's what's so great, is that it, it's perfect because we described it. So, ah, uh, do you want to do a go face killer? Sam Hands, you're a friend of mine. <laughs> sure. Um, so this one is Bercy Ham Hands versus Percy Chicken Fingers. And I love it. <laughs> I didn't know that that's how the chicken fingers were going to be, but I cannot Mm -hmm. imagine them any other way now. Um, They are as, uh, well, I guess everyone, this is not recording, so I want to eat the chicken fingers. Yeah, right off, right off his hand. It's important for hands would feed two families on Easter. It's important for, you know, Bercy to, he's got to get those punches direct because you want to get the impact of the meat, but also the poke of the bone, you know what I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I didn't see this one before. Uh, Jennifer, do you want to do the next one? Yeah, this is a Rowan, but she's a mermaid. Oh my it's god! Really pretty cute. Like got anime eyes. Who did it? Um, Lady Vidalis. Oh my god! On gosh. Twitter, thank you. Oh my much. god! I love she's mermaid. So freaking cute. That's so cute. That's kawaii, I think. I agree. Kawaii. Oh boy. Oh. Uh, boy. Michael, do you want to do the last one? <laughs> You got it, buddy. Um, the last one is from our pal Teddy Udane. <laughs> you know him, you and love him. Uh, it, uh, Toby the Puppet Master, um, after he got uh, Skandalani to join Tower of Grey. And uh, it's just a little, little puppets, and they're, they're pretty cute. They sure are cute. It has real like, weird glasses that we all think is cute. Yeah, it's that, that are super cool and look yeah. awesome. I think, Bachman, are you going to do your hair like that at GeeklyCon? I think you should uh, definitely I do. haven't had a haircut in a very long time. Just for this reason? Just for specifically for that reason, but we'll see nice. how well it goes. Yeah. You, you should get some like get some little tape ins or something, too, to give you some extra oomph if you need I it. I feel like we mm-hmm. can make it happen. I, but they I, have I, clip-in bangs. You could do that on Amazon. Buy some clip-in bangs and, like, and then just do it on the side. <laughs> I'll style it for you. Okay, we we can we can we can take this off the air, but yeah, for we'll sure. Workshop it later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, take that all, uh, offline. Well, that's all of them. Thank you so much, everyone, for making fan art. It really just makes us happy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. It, it is really <laughs> helpful. It just and makes me good. happy. Okay. Okay. That's wild now. Okay. 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 Um, are we ready to freaking do a podcast? Let's do it. Let's record. Sleepy. Let's. Record. I can do it. I need to not be. I don't know why I am. I whenever I sleep well, the next day I'm so tired, and whenever I don't sleep well, the next day I'm so tired. So I'm like, what if I just like don't sleep well and just play more video games? And then at least you play video games. Exactly. I think. That's what you should do. And I wake up with headaches all the time, so I'm like, I might as well just get, I should just get throw up in the couch drunk. You know what I'm saying? I'm, that's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. That. Everyone, <laughs> uh, that was a kidding. Uh, but throw up in the couch? Yes. Like, in, you, you pull, our couch is weird. You pull out I mean, the hide of bed and you just you throw up in there and then you just kind of smush it. Our couch oh! is ripped a little bit, so I could like get back there and throw up underneath it. I could do it. I hate this conversation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up while I'm talking about barfing in a couch. <sighs> wow, we are very energetic. Michael, tonight. did you plan for today? What should we do? Huh? What What should we do today? Huh? Because we didn't have our pre-stream where you uh. tell us everything to do. Yeah, and you know uh. what say. Isn't it weird that people don't uh, uh, accuse us of pre-planning things the way they do? <laughs> With the more popular shows, I wonder where that is. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, our <laughs> they're like no one could have planned this <laughs> <It's> so bad. <laughs> it's. Uh, I mean, I think our plans are well thought out, um, and that uh, we make good decisions all the time. I think there's some of those things in those more popular shows that I'm like. I don't know. Do you mean you think that they did plan it? I don't know. There's a kitty in here. That's Lucy. Move. Oh, I wanted her chair to be nearby so she can sit with us. Uh, Hugo, I'm not drinking licorice tea, but maybe I should. Should I don't know. Think about it. Think about it. Um, should we open Audacity? Yeah, baby. Who's excited for the new Final Fantasy? Ah! 
I need to wake up. Uh, yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't I wait to get to Heaven Sword. Heaven's Sword. Yeah. Did I open that as thing? Huh? Who am I? Who's he? Oh. Yeah, the chair. Give me a baby. That's a baby. That's my chair. Get off it. She's like absolutely not. Who's he? Come here. All right. I think I should probably. <laughs> all, right. all right do we all have yep oh, yeah. Destiny. Yeah. Michael, it's been yeah. so long since i've seen you uh, tim we just re-recorded last night on go three two one go we're recording we're recording we're recording, recording. We're recording. Hi, david hi david this hi, is an david. ad what? This is an ad. But <laughs> okay. the ad's for our podcast. Oh yeah, and we're doing a swirl. Ah. Mm. Mm. And then shake your arm out a little bit. Is. And then, you know, shake it up, get some pop going. And then uh and then go. Mm, I did bad. <gasps> There we go. Tip of the teeth. Red, the red or the yellow lips. The tip of the teeth. The tongue <laughs> of the lips. Unique. New York. Red, leather, yellow weather. Blah. Red, leather, yellow weather. Blah. 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 <laughs> butt sex, butt sex, butt sex. Blah. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. I can do this. <laughs> I don't want to. Why? Let me yell at Tim. Get your friggin' energy up! Every bro. session that we do, we're one session closer to being done. And Michael said that he's quitting the podcast. No! The moment we get to level 20, he said that. He's only quitting if we unchain him from his desk and DM book. I would never quit. I'm not a quitter. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. What he said was, I'm going to start five more projects and not quit this one. <laughs> that is probably what I said. <laughs> oh, Michael, you maniac. Uh... My head hurts. All right, let's start. <clears throat> Greetings, adventurers. No, I don't see like <laughs> it's, it's harder. It's much harder now. Let's switch back. What if we just have like, like, out we what like if we it. had a canned intro? We should we should probably do that. Like a real stupid one. It's like zany. Like a Yeah, like boing. <laughs> You're listening to Greetings Great Adventurers. Adventurers. Go, 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 Greetings Adventurers. <laughs> Tell your dad. Monday, Monday, Monday. <laughs> sucks piss. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Tim, Jennifer, Nika, and Bachman in the morning. <laughs> and the rash. Hey, <laughs> <And> the cheat. <laughs> okay, ready? Let's do it. Greetings, adventurers. Thank you for joining us. I am your dungeon master, Michael DeMauro, and with me is Mike Bachman. Coming up on this episode, dice in your butt? <laughs> Jennifer Cheek. We do not endorse putting dice in your butt. Nika Howard. Unless you do it in a safe way, like inside a condom, and then you do it, so then you could take it out of your butt. So you can mm. transport it across state lines. <laughs> oh, forbidden dice! You're saying this is holding a very pointy uh, D8 from Die Hard Dice. Don't, and... don't, don't use do a that. D4. Use no, a D4. nice D20. Maybe a D100. Even a rounded. Hit a, a dice with a flared base. And <laughs> never, ever use a spin down counter. Tim Lanning's here. Hey, everybody. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. It's a wonderful Thursday morning. Is it? Okay. Uh, well, I wasn't expecting you to say that. Uh, I was going to say, isn't it fun to think that some of our coworkers listen to us on this podcast? Um, I don't think any of them do. Mm, I have so. My brother texted me and was like, wow, you guys sure did swear a lot. Uh, Should have let your nephew listen to this. I'm like, yeah. Like, that's probably correct. If you're yeah, a nine-year-old no. out there, Oliver, hello. Don't cuss like your uncle Tim. Don't do cusses. Do not do it. Uh, all other don't scam on Fortnite. Don't 
freaking scam on Fortnite. Uh, don't do cusses. Don't, don't cheat on tests. Not it's not all things. These aren't these aren't things that Oliver did. I'm just saying in general. We're Oliver, saying in general yeah, for yeah, all yeah. the nine year olds out there listening. Yeah, please, to our podcast. please don't say that. Uh, I just want everyone to know that uh, you're special and you're loved, and keep doing your homework and okay. uh, all that stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. What if? What if? If you cheat on your homework, you'll get a better grade. No, oh, okay. it's wrong. Don't, Michael. That's not worthwhile. Okay? That can happen. What? No. And what if like... you're? What if you're gonna fail if you don't cheat? It's wrong. Well, then you made bad decisions before then. Right, but you can fix them. You have the opportunity to go back. <laughs> if you use your time turner. <laughs> what no. if you promise you're gonna study afterwards? <laughs> but you won't, Michael. Why does Michael want to cheat so bad? Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, where are you getting all these ideas from? At home, it's almost like look. I'm child. just saying, I wish my son would occasionally cheat a little more. <laughs> That's all I'm Michael, saying. Michael, cheat for the morning. <laughs> That's a joke. Um, Go on. <laughs> you, you're sneak listening to this. You, you're not allowed to cheat. <laughs> Don't. You're a teen out there. So GeeklyCon is uh, coming up oh, in, so in just a few it's days. It's just so terrifying. Oh, boy. Uh, if you haven't got your tickets yet, that's fine. You still can. It's in Columbus. You, you should go. Yeah. And we'll hang out. Um, I'll shake your hand. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably give you a hug unless you're, like, wet or something. Yeah, <laughs> if, you're, if you are moist of the body, I probably would not. If you're literally pr- so sweaty that I can see it, I probably will, like, give you, a, uh, like, an elbow bump. Do, do a little, like, like a, a soft punch in the shoulder. Um, but otherwise, cool. Cool. Yes, please, uh, go to geeklycon.com and grab a ticket, because it's super fun. You don't have to be caught up. Um, just come and hang out and play games. It's fun. Yes, I promise. Uh, we're not the main draw. The attendees are. Oh my That's god! Right. That's That's so true. True. All so the good. friends that you'll make along the way. So true. Um. Hey. Hey. You yeah. know how we all have. Grass you know how is we... free. Buy a farm and get all three. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it! Um. <laughs> uh, you know how we so have all I... these. <laughs> Michael's gonna kill us now. I mean, I, I didn't want to be left out. I'm sorry, Michael. Dire dice uh, are really great, and their dice are really great. I'm holding some of them right now. Um, do not put them in your butt. Uh, no, that that really would go. be dangerous. But they are great at rolling, and, um, and they are super awesome, and they have given us dice to give away to our beautiful Patreon supporters. So if you are a Patreon supporter, you automatically uh, have a chance at us randomly picking you is a very roundabout way of saying it's not a contest. Not a contest. Um, not a contest. It, it couldn't be more simple. Uh, and this week, uh, Thomas M. from Arlington, Virginia is the winner. I'm not going to say your last name. Um, we but, will say uh, your social security number, though. But I will say your social <laughs> Um, Thomas, thank you so much for supporting us. I'm going to send you a message on Patreon, and you will get to pick one of five different flavors of beautiful metal. <laughs> Die Hard <laughs> Dice. <laughs> but now you're advocating to put them in your mouth. Which Wait, everyone, what's your flavor? Mm, I like cherry dice. What are we asking? What flavor are your dice? He said you get to pick your metal. So, like, I think Lonnie would be Fruit Punch. Okay. Oh, Lonnie's definitely fruit punch. Um, Mine's like blue raspberry because of the colors. Man. That's not what Toby is. Are That's you talking the about the color? No, but I think this is like a vibe. A vibe? Yeah. Yeah, like a vibe. I don't or think the I color describe... of dice, whatever your vibe is. I think a really big green apple. Yeah, I don't think I could describe what Toby is due to the complexity of what Toby is. He's like uh, a gusher with a blue raspberry and like a strawberry. In yeah, oh, shit. but it's also, it's like licking a battery, but with all of that stuff. Um, Somebody wow. in the chat said Pop snozberries. Rocks. And oh I yeah, I think that's where Toby is. Um, I my dice are pyre dice, so a cinnamon because he's spicy. Spicy boy. My 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 dice taste like rocks. No, <laughs> they taste like bo- bone. <laughs> bone. Oh no! If you've ever eaten human bone, you'll know what my dice taste like. I think Ooh, I know. Uh, you know, it, people like marrow, right? At fancy yeah. restaurants. Yeah, but this marrow. is the it's whole yummy. bone. Like marrow is just the inner okay. part. This is the whole bone. Okay, stop like, just like the whole bone, Michael. 
Bachman, we get it. It's the whole bone. <laughs> All I'm getting is little bits of bone. This is the whole bone. All right. <clears throat> D20s. Yes. Let's, get let's do it. Get them out. If you're not scared. I am scared. Oh, boy. <sighs> 15. Um. Well, I got a 16. I rolled a 10. I got a 3. <sighs> cool. Jennifer Cheek. What this happened is, last week on Greetings Adventurers? This is hell to me. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know how far you. back exactly we want to go, but some bad shit went down in the vault a while ago. Y'all, <laughs> you're in hell. Turn, we, oh, yes, we are We are in hell uh, at a work conference in mm, hell like for working at the bank, wherein people are trying to harvest our loyalty in order to, for something. Do we know what were they do with it yet? Power. Well, I know they use it for power, but I didn't know how much we know about it yet. Infernal. Anyway, yeah, we're at a conference. It fucking sucks. Um, we <laughs> tried to break into the vault with not a lot of a plan, and Toby extremely died, um, and Rowan and Whatever. Scud and Lonnie... Uh, got taken to a conference room. We had to do another loyalty test, and we had we argued over. Someone had to chop their alpha figure in tow. Someone had to do that, uh -huh. and Rowan and Lonnie said they were going to do it. But then Scud is like, "Actually, I'm going to chop off my finger in tow." Um, we met back. Actually, up. I think he did it accidentally <laughs> in both cases. <laughs> I, I, yeah, that that sounds correct. Um, Lonnie <laughs> and Rowan were like totally ready to do it, and Scud he just he stepped right up. Um, we met back up with Toby. Apparently, while he was dead, he met Gary Glittergold. Yeah. <laughs> which is great. Uh, we found out that there's going to be a talent competition. And we're going to try to use the talent competition to get the rest of the key cards so that we can actually get into the vault uh, appropriately. Um, we've each picked a, a, a mark to get the key card from. Mm -hmm. And we another thing that we learned is that so we're trying to get the key cards from the different supervisors that are here at the retreat from the bank. And the different supervisors have different supervising styles. And we need to find them out in order to get the key cards from them. So the main thing I think that we're setting up is that we've got to do a talent competition. And we got to steal <laughs> key cards. And I'm very excited to see where this goes. High fantasy. He loves it. <laughs> Yeah, and I believe you are, um, it is, the talent competition is tomorrow night, uh, and there is a mixer tonight, which, Ooh. last we left you, you had decided that you were going to go to a mixer. Ooh. Yeah, to get info, you know, you know what I'm saying, get info. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Jennifer. That was very thorough. I had notes from my Google Doc. Wait, what? <laughs> I, I've, since I started actually taking notes in the Google Doc versus on my phone or on a paper, I've done much better at it. That makes sense. Um, but right now, the internet is not working on my laptop. It is not letting me take current notes. So, mm -hmm. so hopefully next time I won't roll and have to say what happened. Mm -hmm. All right. So I don't uh, remember the last episode at all. Now, you said you weren't drunk, but Tim, maybe you were? Maybe I was. I remember not being. What was it to say? You came say? up with some good plans. Um, Lonnie was going to Cirque du Soleil someone. Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, How do you do it to someone? I don't know with this shit. Um, Rowan was going to shoot an apple off someone's head, which I still have no idea why that's going to get you a key card. But She just loves doing that. I just, I just want to look fucking cool. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Toby had a plan to get someone drunk. He was going to use Lonnie. Lonnie. Yeah. We do this so much. That I think Lonnie our number one get... plan is, well, we should get someone drunk. Lonnie can't get drunk. It's such a good plan. <laughs> and I don't remember if Scott had a plan or not. <laughs> Fuck, I was really hoping you did because I don't ah! remember. I think Bob had got a little tipsy last time, actually. No! The hair. <laughs> Yeah, was it? I think Nika and Bachman were drunk. And then I was, I was yeah, because I had to record the outro separately. Oh, oh I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And then I woke up the next morning and wondered why I felt like ass. <laughs> well, that's right. Hawkman disappeared, and you guys were being rude, and, like, he's probably fucking throwing up. I'm like, guys, cool. Oh, that's cool. Gary, I walked outside. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was that was me performing a service, not throwing up. I did that <laughs> afterwards. I did that. <laughs> All right. Um, so, um, so you all are, I guess, leaving your bungalow and heading down to yeah, the mixer. I'm gonna put on the um, the uh, the robe from the bungalow. Like my skin hurts a little bit because it's new. Touch it. It feels weird. It's, wow. It's slightly golden. It is. Um, that's very springy. Thank like, you. You are moisturized to the max, yeah, Toby. I'm literally made of magic <laughs> and sawdust. Um, and I, I guess uh, Percy Chicken Fingers and yeah. uh, Frank are also with you coming down mm-hmm. just to, you know, because they don't want to miss the mixer. Right. Of course not. <clears throat> and um, so as you're walking down the path towards the beach where all, all this stuff obviously happens, you uh, you hear music like no minstrel has ever played before. <gasps> It is uh it is loud. You can already hear it. Okay. And it's 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 like got like a doom 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 doom. It's like it's yeah, a really yeah. it's I like a dr- <laughs> it's like a driving beat. <laughs> we yeah, we are wait people, for the beat or we wait for the uh drop. Are people like bouncing up and down in slow motion, like slower than the music's going? Yeah, is it matrix? Like a, yeah, it might be. Um and uh the stage is set up and uh and you see Keth up on the stage, and he's got like a, he's got these huge things next to him that are like these big rectangles that are just seem to be like spitting out sound. I don't get it. And what? he's got, he's got a like a contraption in front of him, and it has like, uh, has these discs on them, and he's like using them to like make weird music somehow. Guys, Michael's drunk. Um, I think that Keth is one of the... Oh my god, my brain just broke. He's a Pokemon trainer, and that's that one Pokemon with the... Oh, oh yeah. Get lucky. What are the band? The, 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 the Daft Punk. There, he's one yeah, of, he's a Daft he's Punk. He's Daft Punk. Guys. He does, does he pick up a big like, helmet. And... Yeah. Idris Elba? Huh? Does he, he look does, like... Yeah. He does look like Idris Elba. Michael, has, has Scott heard, heard this kind of music before? I don't think so. Really? Okay. How does I mean, he feel about it? Seems like he would have. He's into How? it. <laughs> it's like no minstrel you've ever heard. Oh, that's <laughs> why. He said that. He said that. Jeez. That's true. And uh, there is a uh, there is a dance floor going, and it is popping off. There are people just getting down. Um, you uh, you specifically uh, like a, a big space in the middle clears. And um, you see Greki dancing with a large dragonborn that you assume can only be, uh, where is his fucking name? <laughs> only could only be the head of security, and I can't find this. Wait, 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 is it? Um, is Zato. It? Oh. <laughs> oh. Which one's Lord Gargos? That's who I've got to get. <laughs> oh, how do, I've already forgot I do not remember which one. Um, oh, I I have info. I, I yes. Wrote Thank it. you. Okay. Um, I Lord don't know Go- who did what though. But Lord thought- Gorgos is the head of accounting, and yeah. what you know about him is that he's a hard worker. He's almost always in his office. Rowan, you signed up to steal the key, white key card from Lord Gorgos. Yes. Scott is going to steal the blue key card from Grinky Grongus. <laughs> Toby is going to steal the black key card from Kate Orox. And Lonnie is going to steal the green card from Sor- Sir Roses of the River. Thank you, Mr. Red. Um, imagine we're all butterflies flying yep. around you, and we're licking your face. Okay. <laughs> we're back. I thought he already said that. So, yeah, there's um, there's a bunch of people over by the bar. Um, there's uh, The dance floor is going. There's probably... You know, robot waiters walking around with hors d'oeuvres. What's a robot? Just kidding. We had those. We in already too. did that. It's gonna be us. As yeah. we walk to the scene, Michael Demaro, Toby huh? 
throws out his hands, and as we're walking, he's casting illusion magics, and there's lights wow. and, and just r- flower petals. Is this a beach rave? Are, are just flowing from all of us. Uh, there is spotlights. There is um, bisexual lighting. Oh. There is um, tasteful sand crunch noises. All of the things. There's a, there's a scent, Michael, of of um, uh, a buttered, perfectly buttered popcorn. Wow, on the Whoa. beach. Yes. Well, it's, it's us. Oh, okay. So we're just like what everybody wants. Yeah. 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 We're like the cool, the cool kids. Yeah. We we smell delicious. Is this like a um? Like a club situation? Like, I guess I'm wondering what the appropriate attire is for us to be wearing. Like, or is it like a luau? Um, most of the people are sort of just wearing their, you know, their business casual clothes. Okay. So you're um, telling me there's a bunch of dudes with khakis on and they're wearing lace. Yeah. Um, <laughs> give me a oh roll perception for me, please. Oh, boy. That's all. Everyone good. or just... I, I, anyone who wants to take in the scene. Oh, okay. Ah! Why are you Nineteen. Oh, God. Plus numbers. I got a fourteen. Uh, I got an eighteen. People in the chat have never heard of bisexual lighting, and what? Y- you're being failed by a blind. Um, Scud, you do notice that uh, there are some some people that are not, you know, dressed a little bit unusually, like namely the Dragonborn, uh, who's dancing around in the rave, and you know, Kath. And um, and there's actually uh, two women at the bar who are both fairly elegantly attired, not wearing khakis. Okay. Um, but other than that, nothing looks too weird and out of place. There's a couple people swimming. The pool's near. Or yeah, the pool's nearby. And Michael, my love. Please remind us, we saw pictures of our marks at the... You saw portraits, yeah. Portraits, that's what I meant. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what a picture is. Can we have portrait. miniature portraits of the big portraits so we can refer back to them? No. Have he pulls out his little portrait. <laughs> He's in a locket. Right? You would have had to say it at the time and you didn't. Damn that's it. true. You can't oh. have that. You're a tough and consistently fair DM. And <laughs> yes, tough and fair. Um, I cast Fireball on the dance floor. Are you kidding me? Yeah, <laughs> I'm coming for it. <laughs> this party so is fire! <laughs> all chaotic neutral. Come on. Uh, something happened to me when I died. Something's inside of me itching to get out. It's fire. <laughs> it's fire. No, I'm kidding. I don't do that, Michael. That was just a fun little joke. Please for you. don't do that. I wanted to have your butt clinch. It did. My stupid player is ruining my D and D campaign once again. There's a baby oh. on the screen. She's plugged up. You don't have to. You don't have to stop. You won't hear. Her. Um. Oh all right. What do you guys do besides burn everyone to death? Yeah, I kill everybody. No. Um. Can we have a dance off, Michael? I mean, you don't have to ask my permission. Well, I feel like we do. If <laughs> Can I? You, do I have enough bones, Michael, to construct a like a throne of bones that could be carried by my skeletons? Bone throne. I want um, bone throne 2019. I'm gonna say no to that one as well. Oh, thank you. No to that one as well. I didn't like that we just got done telling Nika that it, yeah, do whatever, and then Bachman's like, like Can I do this? Can I have four thousand no. more bones, even though it's very I hard for me to have said no. Is there like a bone storeroom in That's this place? That's why I ask. Yeah. <laughs> Dance off is well within the line. Hmm. Is that kelp? That's what weird. is it? It's kelp? It tastes like cantaloupe or kelp? Cantaloupe. Oh. I was like, I don't know what kelp tastes like, but I don't think I want a kelp beverage. This tastes like aquarium water. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, okay, so, like, you know, if you want to try to start a dance-off, I'm not going to stop you. Yeah. Yeah. You have, like, like rose petals kind of, like, growing and flying off of your skin. Yeah, I got to use use this, like, cool momentum festival girl look I've got going on. Um, I, who's the most aggressive dancer out there? Oh, it's, like, by, like, a million miles, it's the the dragonborn. Okay, I... 
I want to oh, yeah. go up to the Dragonborn, and I look at Greki, and I, like, it, it's a look, girls do it, where it's like, hey, can I, you know, are you done? What are you doing? And, like, <laughs> one look says um, basically a whole paragraph of, yes, I have finished my dance with him. Please feel free to intercede onto this um, uh, spot. He is yours. Thank you for being polite. Um, that's the conversation that happens. I'll see, see you, you in the bathroom, bathroom later. Yeah, <laughs> I'll see you. Where'd you get that top? <laughs> Remind me later that I need to take my birth control. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Lonnie jumps in and she's going to do some like pretty like, I'm going to say 90s break dancing. Yes. Standing on the head, mm -hmm. um, back kicks. Mm -hmm. Windmills. Which Shit. is kind of, is that the same as spin? No, I think. Well, we'll you do, yeah, spin on the head windmills, maybe? There's one yeah. where they spin on their back. Is that a windmill? Or? I don't know. I don't know breakdancing. She does that, too. Well, okay. maybe. I don't know. Okay, so I got an 18. And I'm helping her, as you know, Michael, with um, my... Oh, illusions. are you causing, like, magic to yeah. spin off? What are you yeah. rolling? Breakdancing? I rolled, I rolled an acrobatics. Okay. I feel like that was... All like... right. Okay. I like it. Um, so, and you, the idea is you're trying to humiliate this uh, I just, red no, dragon. I don't, I don't want to humiliate him, but it's like one of those where you, like, you go up and you're like, oh, I see you're a good dancer. I'm a better dancer, but let's do this in a playful way where afterwards we share a drink at the bar. This is Save the Last Dance. A yes! Mutual, <laughs> Michael, in the dance world, let me enlighten you. Uh, a mutual respect is earned this way. Yeah. It yeah. looks on the outside tense, uh, dangerously erotic, and perhaps um, um, just plain dangerous. But really, it it's a time-honored tradition that is stronger than the best superglue you've ever fucking seen. Um, <laughs> the uh, the uh, After just seeing you pull off some ridiculous moves, you kind of notice that the, the... I mean, while he was dancing very aggressively, um, he wasn't dancing particularly well. Oh, oh really? Okay. That's a fun twist. Does yeah, he, he have, was. Um, glow sticks in his hands. <laughs> yeah. Oh course. my God, is he like a raver? <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, when he sees your moves that and they seem to be directed at him, he um he just sort of scowls and storms off the dance floor. <gasps> wow. Oh. And he um, as he's walking off, he punches one of the robots and it falls down. What? What? Oh my god. Dude. Michael, what a sore loser. Are you serious? Did that really happen? Are you yeah, it's another fun joke? I'm not fucking kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um and that was Lord Gorgos? No, that was um That's uh Zato. Is it random? It was Zato. Red, Zato's the, red. the head of security! Oh I can't read. Who are we supposed to who's supposed to be getting him? I already got him. I already got him. <gasps> oh that's hmm. oh, that's right. I sacrificed my body to do it. Damn. Damn. Um, do we see any of the other folks here? Do I do another perception roll? Sure. Hit me with another perception. Got it. <laughs> Much better. Um, that is a 22. Uh, Scud kind of points out the two elegantly dressed women at the bar. Mm -hmm. and I see you were giving us clues earlier. Now I understand. <laughs> and you uh, you recognize uh, Kate Oryx and Sir Roses of the River. Oh shit! I get it now. Did I get it last time? I think you did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't. That's very funny. We definitely like were laughing about it. I like to think you were just laughing like. Ah. Well, because I I thought it was a Game of Thrones, or oh, I don't really know. Well, Sir, it, Sir is spelled S E R, so yeah. I, I, I Wait, is it a cat? Is it a tabaxi? No, it's not. I'm oh, sorry. I was just thinking of like Sir Pounce. No, oh, I'm sorry. And then <laughs> except for our cats who love well, we don't laser likes that. the water. We don't know that. Laser likes the water. We don't know that. He gets in the shower all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he won't stop. It's really weird. <laughs> So it's eight, um, eight orcs, and who was the other one that was there at the bar? The roses, roses of the river. Roses of, of course, we were just talking about. Um, Kate Oryx is, uh, I mean, she is, they're both actually fairly striking, um, even more so than in their portrait. Uh, mm. Kate Oryx is, she's like tall and slender and incredibly pale. Um, she is 
jet black hair that's like oh my god in, in in, it's like up in like an in, in like a really inc- eh, intricate twist and oh she kind of has like dark eye makeup and black lips she like michael please stop and she she's from uh like vampire I'm lady walking. from um uh castlevania mm-hmm. yes i know i i get that reference you should um, watch it she's uh, she's wearing a uh a black cocktail dress and I, she does have um sort of intricately detailed tattoos on her bare arms and uh wow really targeted. <laughs> she's Hi. she's holding a uh a, a, like a drink that seems to be steaming can i go kiss her i'm very personally attacked right now um <laughs> Michael, you do realize that this is gonna be the campaign and you've and, and you've doomed <laughs> All of Drunk Rose. Yeah, you fucked I'm up. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Sir Rose is, is uh, also a woman. Um, she does have a sword by her her side. Ooh. Uh, What's that sword look like? Um, it's a. Uh, it, it looks like probably like a a long sword. I imagine a... it being like disgustingly ornate. I don't know why. It's well, she's a little bit less ornate i guess she's okay. um she's not quite as tall and she is a sort of darker more ready co- complexion um she has like long messy chestnut colored hair with green streaks in it wow green and um okay. she's wearing a floor length blue ball gown wow. um, that looks like it could be made out of feathers <gasps> and uh oh and there's God. a there's a blood red rose pinned to her chest um she looks over at you, and she has kind of these, like, huge piercing eyes. Um, they're, like, super light. Like, you kind of looks like a... You're kind of far away, but it looks like a light green, and she's with, like, dark... She got wolf dark green, Dark green around the, the edges of the yeah. iris. And, um... And uh, she sees you looking at her, and she kind of smiles a little bit, and she has... Alarmingly pointy teeth. Oh, shit. Ooh. Like a vampire. Can I like, do an arcana check to, to, to vampire? Are we right? talking like a Baraka style thing, or are you just the pointy canines like vampire style? Uh, like all them teeth pointy. All of them. Oh. I got to forward to try to discern um, her. Sorry, what did I say that again? I got 24 to discern what her deal is. She a Tarkata. Um, Don't sue us. You, uh, you think She's the that... bad guy from the Street Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you think there's a very solid chance that she's a green dragon. <gasps> Whoa! Michael! Uh... Wait, they're probably all dragons. Oh, uh, fuck. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. That's a real good point. That's a real, real, real good point. <laughs> well, you're in, th- in Dragon Town right now. Well, Dragon Beach. No. So, just to clarify, no, no sign of Grinky Grongus or Lord Gorgos. <laughs> I thought I heard you mention Grinky Grongus earlier. Is that but... Grecky? Uh, Grecky and Grecky. Grecky. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, Grecky is a I'm gonna HR go, manager. I'm, a, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna corner Grecky somewhere and be like, "Give me the blue key! Give me the blue key!" <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Toby is going to, uh, you said they're at the bar, Michael, tomorrow? Yes. Uh, Toby is going to walk over, and as he's getting closer, he's going to go, oh, and he's just going to start walking up the stairs. Michael, you don't see <laughs> stairs, but it's my, he's so you're doing the opposite of the, the down. Yeah, opposite of the down, and uh, it's me just slowly walking upstairs like, oh, hello, good to meet you. My name is Toby, what's your name? I'm casting Levitate on myself, so I, it looks like I'm just walking upstairs to get on their eye level because Toby is quite small and he stands on the bar yeah, when, that's a power move. or like sits on the edge of the bar at the end. He's like, wow! Who's Toby going to talk to? Uh, he is talking to the, the um, both are hot, but uh, I'm talking to Kate Oryx because that is who uh, 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 Toby was given and he doesn't d- deviate from plans, you know? He, okay. Even though probably Rowan and um, uh, Lonnie have like a Pepe Le Pew 
scent <laughs> floating thing. I don't know if Molly would, but maybe. Maybe Molly wants to be best friends. Oh, well, Nika does. Well, Nika. Yeah, Nika does for sure. Nika loves Kate. Nika loves Kate. Um, I, I think that Rowan definitely did the, like, cartoon, like, her, her heart went out and went, no, don't quit. <laughs> <laughs> both of them. Um, um, aggressively okay, stomping your foot with, on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> he's supposed to talk to Sir Rose's. Mm. But I'm very afraid to talk to a dragon with such a beautiful woman standing ne- right next to her. <laughs> um, I will say this: I probably didn't tell you that it was a dragon because that seems. That's to be fine. Funny. No, yeah, no, no. I don't know that. I don't yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has it come up that I'm we nervous have, talking about any it. inkling? Like in well, character, what's his nuts? Was his nuts? Was uh, Draculus? Dracarus? Draculi? Osiri Draculus. Osiri Draculus was a dragon. So I think, and and we. It's, your characters probably know they're dragons, to be honest. I mean, like it makes sense. I think we even said it in the past because each of the drag, each of the pictures. When you were looking at the portraits, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Lottie probably knows she's a dragon. That's probably- um, the um, Sir Roses. Uh, so you address uh, Kate Oryx. Yeah, it's like, oh, hello. My name's Toby. Toby, Toby what's your she, name? She does not respond. <laughs> um, oh. And Sir Roses uh, sort of turns to her with like a wolfish smile, and uh, and she goes, uh, "Oryx, one of the one of the worms has decided to talk to you. This is this is fascinating. Usually they're too afraid." And so he's just sitting on the bar, kicking his feeties. <laughs> you can see his undies um, through his his, his bathroom. Um, and, wait, uh, you're in your bathroom? I'm not a worm. I'm Toby. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm not Toby. My name <laughs> is. Oh shit. Chad, right? Chad. E. E. McGillicuddy. Oh. My name's E. E. McGillicuddy. Thanks. I'm gonna look that up real quick. Right. Um. I was. I was playing a joke when I said. My name's Toby. <laughs> and then Toby's uh, eyes um, flash black. Please uh, roll a deception for me. What are you talking about? I am Toby and E. McGillicuddy. Michael, I believe it. <laughs> and also bread. I'm also bread. Oh, beans. Oops. Uh, deception? Mm-hmm. I got a seven. Um... Uh, Oryx uh, addresses Sir Roses and um, and goes, uh, "That's funny. I I was under the impression that E. E. McGillicuddy was dead. I am the head of HR, after hey. all." Oh, no, he's fine. Why? Why do you say that? That's me. Look at me. It, you have my file. Look how good I look. I dyed I, my hair. I just, I had a report that the one named E. e. McGillicuddy was no longer with us. Huh. Well, you should fire them. You know what? Actually, that's concerning. Do you think it would be okay uh, for you to show me that this report later tonight or tomorrow morning? Um, I want to be able to prove my loyalty in whatever manner that I must do. I want to generate as much loyalty as I can. And she I, and I holds up a it. finger to you, like Whoa. a shushing <laughs> finger, and uh, yeah. and starts drinking out of her drink. And, uh, and there's just an exceedingly long pause as she's just <laughs> holding up a finger. And, <laughs> and I turn around and go, can I get a... Do you have any IPAs? <laughs> I don't think Toby would drink an IPA. <laughs> an IPA <laughs> is an incandescent potion of alchemy. I, I like I like the idea of Toby like ordering an, EP, an IPA, taking a drink, and be like, <laughs> 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 yuck, yuck, there's no sugar in this. Um. Uh. The the robot gives you a frothy IPA, the robot bartender. Mmm, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> well, like, <laughs> okay, this is this is me being weird. Um, because it's a pretty girl in the game, a pretty lady, I don't know how to enter the conversation. Um, so I, so basically I'm just going to, like, make fake movements towards Toby until, like, <laughs> but Lonnie doesn't do that. So Lonnie just, Lonnie sees that Toby needs a drink, and she comes over, um, and, because she knows she's supposed to talk to, to Sir Rose's, um, and just says, Toby, open your mouth, I'll give you a squirt. I need a squirt. So she'll squirt Toby with the ferret wine, and then she'll look at the other two, and she'll be like, y'all want a little squirt or big squirt? I ain't one to judge. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Oryx uh, puts her her drink down on the bar and waves the bartender over and makes a little motion with her hand to to give her some more. Um, But... uh, (laughs) Uh, and you like watch her doing that and you turn your head and you realize that like uh, Sir Rose is just making extreme eye contact with you. <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie looks back at her unblinkingly but not in a, like a creepy way just like a hi. <laughs> <laughs> no way that's not I'm a creepy having... way? Well okay maybe a creepy way. <laughs> And, like, uh, whatever your definition is. Not like an ominous way. Yeah, yeah not, not like an ominous way. Not, 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 like, not like an ominous too. Ghoulish, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she goes, uh, uh, what, do you, what do you have in the bag? Well, it's a little bit of everything. I got some egg salad sandwich if you're feeling a bit peckish, but mostly it's just ferret wine. Which is kind of mixed in with everything else in this bag, but I don't complain. It just ma- adds more flavor and depth to it. Is Oryx's finger still up? <laughs> yeah, towards you. We're <laughs> just looking back and forth like... Ah. <laughs> she actually has got another drink now, and she's now drinking that drink. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, Sir Rose's uh, goes, uh, What? How do you make wine out of ferrets? <laughs> Oh, well, it's a family secret. I couldn't tell you that unless you're part of the family. And I don't mean to be rude, but you don't look like your last name is Kaplan. And I don't think your first name starts with an L. (laughs) My first name does not start with an L either, though. Yes, it does. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Roll roll deception. Oh, no. To be fair, though, her name is Lamborghini Snack Pack and Lonnie. So it's right both ways. (laughs) But I did roll a four plus zero, so four. <laughs> <laughs> um, she gets just like a alarmingly huge grin on her face, oh, no. like her like it's like she it, like her cheeks are going up, and you just see more and more teeth as she's like <laughs> Cheshire Caddy, and uh, <laughs> and she goes uh. Yeah, I'll take a hit off that. Do you want to get on your knees and do it the traditional Kaplan way? Uh, That's the way that I heard from my best friend. <laughs> she uh, <laughs> she unsheathes her sword. <laughs> this and, is a little well. grand for no, I like it. <laughs> And uh, and she sticks it into the ground, and she goes down onto one knee. Oh, and, oh my uh, god! And uh, her her teeth open, <laughs> and, I love it. and I you say, just see all of these sharp, pointy teeth. Can I say also in my head, she looks like a Koopa Troopa off of the live action Super Mario Brothers, <laughs> but with a wig, <laughs> and she's beautiful. Um, Lonnie kind of stands up on part of the, um, part of the stool, so to get a little more height, and she does where she gets close, and then she pours up to give a nice, good, like, a good, whoa, (laughs) Jesus, that's some fully work. That's that's work you don't got to do, David. That's free. (laughs) (laughs) Me to you. (laughs) Have that on us. 
Um, yeah, so she does that, uh, and she gives her a good squirt. Um, she, uh, she drinks it all down. Um, Undeady Yurdon in the chat says perhaps she looks like Undyne from Undertale. I feel like that seems very good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and, uh... Uh, Oryx uh, looks back at her and goes, Why do you always have to play with your food? Damn. What? That's hot. Uh, I, I would say at this point, like, Rowan is, like, elves have good hearing, right? Is that a thing, like, the half well, Her ears are large, maybe. I, I just wonder if, because I'm not, like, right where you guys are, but I think I'm I'm, like, watching and paying attention to what's happening. So I'm like, Ugh, when she mentions playing with food. Um, and uh, she, uh, Sir Rosa stands back up and sheathes her sword. And um, and she looks over at uh, Oryx and she goes, she goes, I don't think he's going to go away, Oryx. You might as well talk to him. <laughs> Kicking my little feeties. <laughs> and uh, and at that point, Oryx turns to Toby and goes, "What is it you want?" Um, can I do another check to discern uh, the different pleasures of the different um, uh, dragons, the different chromatic dragons? Like, if a black dragon likes, if one of them enjoys. Um, hoarding more than others. Ooh, mm. okay. That's that's an eighteen, my friend. Um, she, she, I mean, I mean, quick, like, oh my gosh, I love the whole store gold in my volcano. It's on, I, her, I think, it's on her name tag. <laughs> I think uh, you know that. Uh, I mean, they all like to hoard gold. Yeah. Um, you know, a green is is more of like a uh you know they're they're all i mean i wouldn't say like fey but they're like like beastie in a way and uh you know they're usually in forests and they breathe poisonous gas Mm -hmm. and um and they're all sort of about life and death and and whatnot whereas uh black drag i mean like you would know that like the red is probably the most sort of brutal and greedy and like yeah. wants the wants the money more than anything yeah um you this this uh you assume that oryx is a black dragon she's literally drinking um a mug of of acid right now <laughs> and uh and um you know, you're getting a real, like, sort of bored, but hostile, and uh, <laughs> and maybe a little sadistic vibe off of her. Okay. I'm just going to stare at her and smile. You, uh, you don't have any, like, charming spells or anything? <sighs> Absolutely not, no. I mean, Toby has... What? That's the thing, like, I don't have any charisma, and I don't believe um, Toby would cast a spell on... Something he suspects to be a a dragon um, at a dance party. So, um, can you all, all of you, give me another perception roll? I would love nothing. God damn it. Or five. Fireball. Oh yes, fucking nat twenty. I got yeah. a thirty-one. Damn. Oh. Yes. I rolled a two. Um, I've been rolling ass tonight. <laughs> I rolled bad. I haven't got a thirteen total. I have a plus nine. Wait, I guess I guess I got a ten total. Sorry. Okay. Um, you guys are all just transfixed by these these managers and their incredible managerial abilities. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. but uh, Lonnie looks over and she sees two security robots, um, sort of uh, marching Bercy off <gasps> and away um. from the party. Do we still have our sending ability up? Your sending ability? Don't we have that where like we can like say something? Am I, I can Norhal-ing? send it to you. I... Yeah, that's Norhal. Um... 
Damn oh, it. Speaking of, go back. Uh, He's ra- that in new Norhal also. Actually. Random encounters. Uh, Norhal Academy for Adventures and Heroes just wrapped up, so you can listen to the whole thing if you'd like. Just go to Random Encounters and you can find it. Yeah. Thank you. And we're gonna it's start good. a new thing. Yeah, and we're starting it's a new. Good. Thing. It is good. I DM it, please. Uh, Toby has message, so you have to like get him to cast it on you. Oh, okay. So Lonnie looks at Toby. Lonnie's not smart. <laughs> She's wise. This makes sense. Lonnie looks at Toby and says, Obi Tay, Obop Gray, Archie Bay, Ursi Bay, Say Bay. And then you just hear, what are you saying to me? Why Bay? And then to- Lonnie just leaves. <laughs> you hear it in your head. What, what, did you, what are you saying to me? Oh, the robots are marching to or Bursi off. Bye. Do you need my help? I'm kind of Maybe. I'm, I'm killing it over here with I don't know. I don't know. Can you get can you get the key cards and I'll get Bursi? I can't get both. Okay, what if okay, can you tell Rowan and Scud to get Bursi and I'll come back and help get the key card? Because I feel well, like honestly, I think that um Sir Roses and I are kind of bonded. Like maybe we'll get brunch tomorrow. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> but I also kind of think that um we're just getting information tonight. We don't need to try to take it, you know. Okay. Well, you're trying to. You're also trying to convince them to join you in the right in the, uh, in the hot talent team. contest. Right. Oh yes. yeah. Oh oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Michael, for putting this back on track. Sometimes people <laughs> say rails are wrong, but I say rails are right because I need them. That's, that's literally <laughs> oh, the I will DM, fall off of the train. It's literally the DM's job. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So I I respond back to that. Can you have Toby? Or can you have Scud and Rowan take care of Bercy? This is where they're going. I'll come back and help. Yeah, where is, where is Scud and Rowan? Um, I think they're, they're just kind of like a few feet away, I think. Scud has carved out a little space for himself off of the dance floor. He has tied together uh, two kind of identical, like, like constructions of, of bone together by a piece of rope. He's lit them on fire, and he's fire spinning. Wow. Off the side. Like that guy like off in the corner doing it. Everybody's like, what's he doing over there? This weird guy. Fire yeah, spinning. the weird guy at every party who's fire spinning. Every party brings a fire spinner. Uh, I will cast a message on both of them. Be like, um, Bursi's getting snatched, so if you can go help him, we're really crushing it over here talking to our marks. Do you, you send it to both me and Scud? Yes. Okay. Um, I walk over to Scud and motion for him to please stop fire spinning. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, people have been motioning for me to please stop fire spinning <laughs> for a long time. Hey, I think we need to follow what's going on over there. I'll be, I can be sneaky. I don't know, if, like we should stay together or like go at it from different areas. Oh, oh, not to worry. I'll go talk to them. Oh boy. All right, well you do that. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to stay in the shadows. Okay, you stay in the shadows. <laughs> I'll go talk to them, and I go over to talk to them. Uh, I mean, they're already... They've already left. I ran, Michael. I ran fast. <laughs> All right, you can run to catch up to them. They're, you know, they're a little bit... Uh, they're probably they're probably still in view of the party, but they're they're. Do you need me to do an hill. athletics check? No, no, you're, you're, <laughs> you're good to run over there. Okay. Rowan's not into he running. He might ro- <laughs> well, throw himself on fire. Yeah. Uh, so I, um, yeah, I run, a, I run, and I, I catch up to them. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, hey, hey, excuse me, where, where do, you, where are you going with my ward? It's my, my um, squire. <laughs> they have squires uh, here. Percy's like, oh, I don't. They're, they grab me. I don't know. And um, one of the robots uh, turns to you and says, uh, uh, "This is not concerning you. Return to the party." Wait, don't we have plus ones? Didn't we have plus ones? I thought we had plus ones. Yeah, for right? weapons? No, no, no. Plus no ones, maybe, oh, for people. Get rid of money. Yeah, yeah. You, you did bring oh. plus ones. And, and they were already; those have already been identified. I can't. Yeah, maybe. I think. I, I think. Was uh, plus one. Yeah. And yeah, then... I think Lonnie Bercy was. Oh, Lonnie. Lonnie's... Frank is is good. Yeah, Frank is good. So Frank's somewhere. <laughs> Frank's always somewhere. As, so wait, Bercy is Lonnie's plus one? You said? 
Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is uh, this is my my friend's plus one. He's allowed <laughs> to be here. Um. Uh, do not concern yourself. Uh, the manager Grinky Grongus has requested a audience with this employees. That probably just means Grinky's horny for him. <laughs> Who's not? Please return to the party. Okay, I'll go back to the party. And I go around the corner and I make like stomping footsteps on the ground, but they're quieter and quieter and quieter, <laughs> so they think I'm walking away. Okay, roll deception. <laughs> 19. Ah. Okay. They, uh, they don't seem to notice. Or they, they no, you know, nothing happens. They... I motion to Rowan that I think we should follow him, but I don't know where Rowan is because she's stealth, so I'm just motioning, <laughs> waving wildly in the air. I, I run out Naruto style. You run so much faster if you do that. It's so it's that's, that's just science. It's so sick. Okay. I, use, I use my fleet of foot. I use the dash action. <laughs> Alright, you are so you run up. You're you're yeah. near Scud now. That's right. I am. I think we should follow him to find where Grinky Grongus is. I agree. You know what? Maybe we'll be able to find my guy as well, because apparently he constantly works all the time. So maybe we can figure out what's going on with Grinky Grongus, and then I can sneak over back to uh, the offices. Perfect. I, I, I count pat, the office. I, 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 say I pat it. out my fire spinning device. It's not <laughs> All right, so you're following them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, please roll a stealth for me. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got a 21. I got a 14 total. <laughs> both, both good rolls. Um, okay, so you're you're following along. Yeah. And uh, they are heading up past... The bungalows where you're all staying, and there's uh, you've noticed that they're a little bit further up on the hill. Um, there's a bunch of other, there's actually six bungalows that look to be slightly bigger, maybe a little fancier than the rest of them, and they seem to be heading up there. Okay. I think we should follow them up there. Yeah. For sure. Is there, like, tree cover? Is there, like, uh, tiki torches that we can... Yeah, you can just you can just sort of like there's a lot of different cover, so yeah. Okay, so you just zip from different bushes to <laughs> another bush. Bunch of chest high walls. Yes. Like press A next to hedges. Um, <laughs> they uh, they go into the second bungalow from the left. Okay. Are there there? Okay, there's, a, there's windows in the bungalow, right? Oh shit! Yeah. That's a good idea. Um, I think we should like go peek in the window and listen i think uh i think that uh it was very hard for me to walk quietly here i kept i kept almost <laughs> stepping on twigs i think you should go and tell you me stay, what you see scud you stay here i got this i'll watch for twigs okay <laughs> and we'll watch for more intruders and, and if you see more people coming just whistle like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh. I think I've got it. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm, I sneak up to the window. <laughs> all right, we're all stealthy up for me. Okay. I am rolling like dog shit tonight. Welcome uh, back. <laughs> six, uh, fifteen, shit. All right. Um. So you uh. <laughs> you, you go up to the window, Scary. and um. And uh, you sort of go to peek your head in, and your hand hits a little glass that's on the windowsill, and it falls in no. and it breaks. Oh <gasps> my god! Shit. Okay. Um, well. Uh, I w want to use, um, high in plain sight. <laughs> so I just go, oh, and hold really still. Okay. 
Does that like do you roll for that or? Yeah. Okay. So basically, it's like when you attempt a high under turn, you can opt to not move. Blah, 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 blah. If you avoid moving creatures that attempt to detect, you take a minus ten penalty to their wisdom perception checks. Okay. Um. So you you freeze you you hide in plain sight and you actually don't hear anything. But I, we saw them go in this bungalow. Yeah. Nothing no, seems, no movement at all. Nothing seems to happen, yeah. Does it seem like... It, is it almost like a spell has been cast on it? Like I'm hearing nothing, or... No, no, you still hear, like, crickets and shit. Okay. Can I... Can I put my head back up? Mm-hmm. You is peek up it, over it, the window still, and you look inside, and um, it appears to be empty. <gasps> this is some magic shit! Uh, hmm. Roll perception for me. Okay. This one's got to be better than the last one. It's worse! Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, 13. All right, you're, you look around, and you're just like, it's just an empty bungalow. Oh, all right. <laughs> no one here. <laughs> just climb in. What's the worst that can happen? Well, I'm at the wind. The, is the window open? Yeah, the window's open. Oh, I see, so that knocked Especially after you punch it open. Um, Scud, Scud's peeping at you. He's like, what'd you find now? So I, I motioned to Scud, and I'm like, I'm gonna go in. Can, can, I, can I come? Is it, is it close clear? I don't know why I, I would think that the coast is clear, because I saw two people go in there. For, I want him to stay at the window, and I'm gonna crawl in, but he stays outside. Okay, okay, I come to the window. Okay, I wanna, I'm gonna crawl in. Oh, boy. All right. Are you trying to be quiet or are you <laughs> trying to be loud? Yeah, no, 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 I'm definitely trying to be stealthy. <laughs> okay, roll stealth again. Please be better. Okay. Woo! Much better. Um, that is twenty-eight. Okay, you creep in. You are silent like death. I am, I am um, the night. <laughs> and like the there, there's no like back door. Like they just seem to have be gone. Scud steps on like thirty loud ass twigs on the way to the window. <laughs> They're just snapping. You feel the tremors. There's like not one in front of him, so he goes back and like picks one up and <laughs> in front of him. Goes back over it. He like backs backs up. And he's like beep beep crunch. <laughs> um so I'm inside of the I'm inside of the bungalow. Mm-hmm. No- there's nothing. Jennifer, I don't want to tell you how to play D&D, but you have to start licking every single surface. Okay. I know that you haven't read all the 3.5 things that I have, but you have like typically you have to lick all the surfaces. Well, cuz okay, this is this is where my brain's at cuz I'm almost like should I leave the go back out the window and then try to go in the door cuz like maybe it's like a portal or something? Is that crazy? Cuz they went in through oh, the door. Yeah, like, maybe- going through the door. <laughs> um but unlock it from door. unlock it first okay. cuz you're inside. It might be locked from the inside. I unlocked the door. <laughs> it's not locked. Um, you go to start climbing out the window, and you hear a kind of grinding sound that sounds like... Well, actually, roll perception. Is it a grongus? It sounds Is like it it's, grinding, grinding, it's a grinding like a grongus. Do I hear that too, Michael? Why can I not mm-hmm. roll? Jennifer, stop you do. I roll a Michael. natural one. You don't know where this grinding sound is coming from, but you hear a grinding sound. <laughs> Right. Jennifer, we need to pick which dice to send to that person. Do you want us to send them? Yeah! They I think betrayed, it's funnier to send them. betrayed me. Sorry, these dice. They're You're really good, but I almost, I almost bought you on it, but we have so many dice. Um, and the grinding is getting louder. Can and I tell you, what direction it's coming from? Yeah, you... It's starting to get pretty loud now, and it sounds like it's coming from underneath you. Oh, they're gonna pop back up. Uh, no, you have shit. to lick the floor. No, <laughs> I. So wait, did I get prevented from going back out the window? I just heard this. You, wow. yeah, you were about to go back out the window. You could still probably jump out the window if you wanted to. I, I can just to. come in through the front door. Oh God! Well, I'm gonna jump out the window. <laughs> okay, you jump out the window. Um, do you hide? Yes. Yeah, but like, I'm I'm peeking with my little just eyes. Just put a okay. lampshade over your head. Uh, both. Uh, Rowan, <laughs> both Rowan and Scud, please roll uh, stealth. Okay. 
Tim, if this dice is bad, I'm gonna be upset. I well, don't. Get... It's too big. Tim! <laughs> I... This is getting a one. Scott rolled a one again. No, so I, in know. that moment, in that moment, I decide I'm gonna eat a big old bag of tater chips. Oh my god! <laughs> so like you know, uh, you know, I'm getting a little peckish. <laughs> the uh, the door to the bungalow opens up, and two robots walk out, and they both just look over at you, and you've got like a bush on your head or something, and you're like. Ugh. <laughs> Rowan, Rowan, quick! How do you do hide in plain sight? <laughs> and I think that's a great place to end our episode. <laughs> like, no, it's not because that because we look like idiots. We're professionals. <laughs> We're award winning. The duck squad. <laughs> I hate you because <laughs> I hate you too, bud. Your friends look like fools. They didn't do it on their no, own. No, we made ourselves look like fools. <laughs> Everyone your dice made you look like fools. Michael, my dice fucked. Me. I this is. No, go away from me, dice. Roll You're it all again. Dead. I better be good. Oh this my time. god! If it... Okay, that was a good thing. Uh, I was using the white one from from D and D Live, and it rolled two nat ones like back to back. I don't know why I keep saying nat one, but you know what I mean. Uh, Jennifer was using one. one of the big dice that we got from D and D Live. There, I it's it is uh, Bernie Bro to me now. Yes. So thank you so much, everyone, for listening. Um, you know what is cool to do? It is cool to do to um, go to hashtag Drunks and Doodles and uh, look at all the wonderful fan art and like it and comment things like, "Oh my gosh, your talent." is so good i am literally a puddle the other good thing that is good to do is to leave a review i've said it a million times you're like tim shut up um that leaving reviews on all the podcasts you listen to is like the best way it's not just for us please review every podcast that you love because i'm sure you love more than just this one anyways you're a good podcast says tabby cat meow meow and everybody loves you oh Good job, Rob, says Darkblade called it. In episode four, of, I believe, Tom Darkblade said something along the lines of, in case you're listening six years in the future, and I felt like he didn't realize that, in fact, would be listening six years in the future. Ha, 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 ha. I've never played D&D, but I've always wanted to, so listening to this from the beginning is really cool. I hope you get to play. Hope you get to play. Uh, Real Life Bucky says, helping me become a man, like Toby. <laughs> I've been listening to this podcast since I was 11 years old. No! Uh, no. Oh boy. That's has, too young. <laughs> uh, it has really helped me through puberty. I'm oh, 13 oh. now. Do you guys ever think we fucked up? <laughs> no, we are I do right now. As long as they don't repeat the things we say. Just don't cuss so much. You know they will. So you're 18 to cuss. Yeah, you have to earn it. <laughs> doing some stuff. I don't know. 16 in France you can cuss, but 18 in the States. Yeah. I'm 13 now and know pretty much everything thanks to these guys. I have even taught sex ed things in the my class and lessons I learned. We agree, so we do it. I know this is not an actual 13 year old, but if it is, you're very funny. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, I hope uh, you. I hope to have my own jerk here when I move out of my parents' oh, no. house. Thank you. Oh. So much. Um, Mun- Munchero Ryan says, "Was that a Jeff Goldblum?" And the fly reference that was episode 115, probably we can all assume for that. I can't wait to catch up uh, so we can join the Patreon without getting spoilers. I hope it turns out uh, you all did great. Uh, Gugs 16 says, "If only I had known about this podcast when I started, my son would have been named Tom instead of after some superhero sidekick." Sorry, Beppo, I failed you, my son. <laughs> <laughs> This is my son Beppo. Like Google to Beppo. I'm gonna Google Beppo <laughs> real quick. Beppo. Oops. Beppo. <laughs> Beppo. Beppo Wikipedia. It's a monkey. It's, it's a DC monkey. Comics universe. Okay. Yeah. I love Beppo. Anyways, I failed you, my son. I've never played D and D, but I'd consider it after all these shenanigans, pop culture references, and joyful chaos sown by this band of misfits. I love every minute of this podcast. Uh, J Roll MD says just hit episode 120. Hey, started listening to episode one. J 
just hit episode 120 and realized I should check to see if you guys still exist before I got licked. Anyway, great podcast reminds me of playing back my college days and a great friendship bonds made over cold pizza and D&D. Look forward to hearing this review when I finally catch up to whatever episode is the latest. Eros87, excellent. Three uh, thumbs up. Bags, 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 and bags. You stop cursing bags. You did it again. I was like a rap. I started listening to the podcast a little over a year ago, and, and I finished the 300 episodes in about eight months. But now I had to catch up again after listening to Random Encounters and Brute Force. Great podcast and group. This is uh, the end now. Sliest of flourishes. Taco Crocodile says three months, no, it was 300 episodes. I procrastinated writing this review because I wanted to wait until I was completely caught up, but Tim's constant requests have finally worn me down. Wonderful. I actually found you guys through the Pandora Music app, so I had to dig out my old iPad to write this. You guys have kept me giggling to myself through endless hours of road trips, work, and yard work. Thanks for doing what you do, and always, slide luge! I think we're going to stop there. We're up yeah. to uh, March 19th. Just wow. Beautiful. That's the most recent we've ever been. So true. That's so true. Um, thanks, everybody. If you want to get in touch with us, we're on Twitter. <coughs> thanks, everybody. If you want to get in touch with us, we're on Twitter. We're at GeekLink or at d Podcast. And I'm at Thrifty Nerd. My name's Tim Lanning, and I'm at Tim Lanning. Um, I'm at Jennifer Cheek. I'm at Nika underscore Howard. I'm at the Mike Bachman. You can also find us on Instagram at Greetings Adventurers. Right. Or oh, on shit. FetLife at uh, <laughs> <Fish Nerd. laughs> Guys, we should be on Fur Affinity. Yeah, we probably should be. Damn. <laughs> our personas. Did you can find us in the, in the comment section of <laughs> DeviantArt Sonic posts. Yes. <laughs> um, Bachman and I are playing Final Fantasy. Isn't that fun? Uh, we are, yeah. Google it. It's a good video game. Didn't get your fill of action and adventure in this episode of Greetings Adventures? Well, make sure to head over to Geekly Inc., where you can find other thrilling podcasts, fan art to make you blush, and gear to level up your adventuring quest. When you've finished listening, lay, ote, hete, <laughs> oddcast pay, head on over to Apple Podcast or your other podcast app of choice to leave us a five-star rating and review. Also, don't forget to head over to patreon.com slash dandypodcast. Once you become a patron, you have access to exclusive content that you won't be able to find anywhere else. If you've been wanting to meet with your favorite podcasters and other fantastic Geeklies, don't miss out on GeeklyCon 2019 in Columbus, Ohio. Dates are July 18th through the 21st, and tickets are on sale now at GeeklyCon.com. New episodes come out every Monday, so go subscribe, get your quest log filled, and get ready for things to get dicey. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week. Until then, keep it dicey. Woohoo! Should we stop an export? Or? That's stop a it, good baby. idea. Jennifer, turn that AC on. Oh, you guys don't have AC right now? No, the oh, fucking... We don't have central AC. 321, right? 321. Yeah. That's the sex number. <laughs> Chunky. Jennifer, can you give me ray hair? Uh, yeah. I think so. But right now I'm showing everyone our little kitty baby. She's a monkey. Oh, the kitty. She's the chunkiest baby in the land. Make your cat say bye-bye. Amelia can say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. It's, it's a chunky. Oh, she hates it. <laughs> it's a chunky. It's a chunky. Um, I have cat hair all over my face now because I put the cat on my face. I can use a new hair band because that's what they're looking for. Oh my God. I'll be back. I need to go wash my face. I got you 100 bag hair in it. I got to go whiz. Oh, no. Same I literally have cat hair all over my picture. I'm holy shit. This is hell.